the largest Honda is famous for its unprecedented space inside and high reliability. It repels only the power of 258 horsepower, which causes a high transport tax. What about the quality of finish, flotation, and handling? We studied the polar opinions of the owners. Hate number five, hard plastic. At one time, when the car was just mastering the Russian market, almost all auto journalists noted the oak and echoing hard plastic of the front panel as the main, albeit almost the only, drawback of the model's internal arrangement. In principle, there is a completely understandable and natural explanation for this. In the American market, for which the pilot was developed, it was positioned as an affordable large SUV, its price was about $30,000, and the car did not claim premium status at all. But when the model began to be sold in the Russian Federation, its price was $1.5 million, at a rate of around 30 rubles per dollar, and after restyling it even increased to $2.1 million, and this was before the 2014 crisis and the exchange rate jump. Naturally, the owners could not ignore the finishing materials. True, the dissatisfaction is caused not by hard plastic as such, but by the inconsistency of this feature with the price and the overall image of the car. This was especially annoying for those who switched to pilot from small budget cars. Indeed, it's a shame, in some Renault Scenic, which costs half as much, the interior trim is much better. However, the majority immediately notes that within a week or two after buying a car, they not only stop paying attention to this, but also begin to find certain advantages in the properties of the plastic used. Nothing rattles or creaks, some kind of creaking can only be heard in a completely frozen car, but as it warms up, these sounds disappear, but if you put some metal thing in the glove box or door pocket, it will certainly begin to rumble on bumps. Secondly, such plastic is easier to clean, and in order to damage it, one must treat the interior in a completely barbaric way. In general, even on 10-year-old machines, it looks like from the factory. Some perfectionists manage to find uneven gaps between the internal panels in the Honda Pilot cabin, although there are few such corrosive connoisseurs of beauty. Love number five, size, volume, and comfort. The Pilot is the largest car in Honda's lineup, although the cross tour is somewhat longer than it is, and the dimensions are intimidating at first. It's not immediately possible to get used to the dimensions, because the width of the Pilot is one of the largest not only in its class, but also among full-size SUVs in general. It is also difficult to get used to the front overall size. It seems to the driver that he has already rested against the bumper of the car in front, but the pedestrian freely runs through the free space, and the front parking sensors squeak furiously. But it is this cubism in appearance and gigantism in size that determine the main advantage of the model, its amazing capacity and internal volume. As one of the owners wrote, the acquisition of this masterpiece was the result of the exorbitant growth of my family through the reproduction of their own kind, as well as the lack of a universally hard pavement. Indeed, now you do not need to push your elbows on the armrest, three adults or two adults and a child in a child seat can easily fit in the back seat. Few? There is a third row, and unlike many other seven-seaters, it is not limited in terms of free space and comfort. Even those owners who, like me, are skeptical about the usefulness of the gallery were forced to admit that two or three times a year it simply saves the day, since the need for a second car disappears by itself. Naturally, such a volume implies almost unlimited possibilities for the transportation of goods. I felt all the charm of the size when I was transporting my wife and child to the country. With the second row of seats folded down, so much entered the car that I was simply stunned, not to mention the fact that the stroller gets up without disassembling, without folding the seats, and there is still room for a bunch of packages. In short, those who drove a family with a small child will understand me. For many owners, the real delight was the fact that by folding two rows of seats, you get a full-fledged sleeping place for three, and even a tall person sleeps to his full height, and the front seats do not need to be moved. Naturally, such a volume will also be useful if you need to transport a wardrobe, sofa, or refrigerator. Well, a lot of little joys for the owner only add positive. Yes, the interior is rustic, but the steering wheel and seats are sheathed in leather and very high quality. 
A lot of cup holders and various containers for small things are scattered throughout the cabin, and most importantly, do not forget what you put where. The keys have a memory for two drivers, and adjust the seat and mirrors depending on which of them opened the car with their key. Agree, it is very convenient for spouses who drive a car in turn. The mirrors do not fold automatically, but one of them, by choice, tilts down when reversing. The electric rear door allows you to keep your hands clean even in spring and autumn. Not only the front, but also the second row seats have heating, and not only the pillow, but also the back is heated. There is a rain sensor, which, however, is scolded for the fact that he lives some kind of life of his own, and the light sensor works quite adequately and without delay. The curtains on the rear windows can also be called a pleasant trifle. Hate number four, headlight washer. Alas, this barrel of honey is spoiled by a hefty glass of tar, which is brought in by headlight washers. There is little sense from their work, especially at speed, since the dirt has time to dry out, but the washer fluid consumption is such that when driving in slush, a 5-liter tank may not be enough for a miserable one and a half hundred kilometers. And the nozzles lose their tightness and start to flow. In general, most car users have chosen to simply disable this dubious system. Love number four, soundproofing. But the sound insulation in the Honda Pilot, perhaps, does not deserve a 5+, plus, but only if you compare it with Mercedes or BMW. At least, even at high speed there is no need to shout, you can calmly talk or listen to music. With uniform movement on a decent road, the sound of the engine is almost inaudible, but you can't violate the laws of aerodynamics, and at high speeds the crew begins to listen to the sound of air being torn apart by an angular body. But the sound insulation of the lower part of the car could be better. The reviews note that when you drive along a sandy road with puddles, the sounds from water and sand hitting the bottom and wheel arches are heard very clearly. The owners also warn that if you drive mainly on asphalt, then you should not put toothy tires on the car. I took Geolander A T. It screams like a polar bear in warm weather. Hate number three, brakes, parasitic thrust and acceleration instability. After several intents braking from a speed of 120 to 130 kilometers slash h, the pilot's steering wheel begins to sausage, as happens with deformed brake discs, but as soon as the pads cool down, everything returns to normal. A person goes to the service, check the discs on the stand, maybe it's time for a groove, but it turns out that the geometry of the discs is in perfect order. In fact, the beating begins due to overheating of the discs, as a result of which a gas layer forms at the disc pad interface, along which the pad begins to float. Of course, all this can be treated without any problems by replacing the discs with perforated ones, for example, from Acura MDX. The only trouble is that such discs are very expensive, and most people prefer to either change to non-original non-perforated discs, they are cheaper than the originals, but they keep overheating better, or simply follow the advice do not drive too much, especially since the pilot has a tendency to show temper when sharp acceleration. If you sharply give gas from a standstill or at speeds up to 60 to 80 kilometers slash h, then pilot is like your spurred stallion, first he shakes his head, and only then rushes forward. And you catch him. In general, when overtaking a truck on a narrow road, the driver does not feel very comfortable. In English, this phenomenon is called torque steering, and in Russian, parasitic power steering. Its causes lie in the technical design features of powerful front-wheel drive cars and the asymmetric angles of the drive shafts, the different torque output to each of the shafts, and the geometry, deviations in suspension tolerances, unequal traction forces caused by the difference in grip of the road surface. And the more powerful the car, the more clearly this phenomenon will be detected. Designers are quite aware of this problem and over the decades have developed quite a few solutions to combat it, from a drive system with an intermediate shaft to a suspension with two kingpins. But the second generation Pilot is a powerful car, but it is essentially a budget car and has a completely traditional and ingenious front axle design. There are certain questions about handling in difficult conditions. Here you are driving along the most ordinary city road in winter after a snowfall. You yourself know how these very roads are being cleaned from us, but you are driving an SUV, so you feel quite confident. 
A turn is approaching. You turn the steering wheel and, out of front wheel drive habit, give gas. But Pilot has his own opinion on this matter and continues to go straight. Actually, this is not surprising. The rear axle has already started to work, and the pilotish, as befits an all-wheel drive car, begins to show understeer. We have to slow down and hooray. We've returned. But even in a straight line on a road with poor grip, you should be more careful. The directional stability systems work normally within 120 kilometers slash H, and after that the car starts to chat in the snow, and you have to catch it. Love number three, a real cruiser. But on a normal, dry road, driving long distances turns into a solid buzz. Pilot is a real cruiser that literally floats above the road. The owners note that on previous cars, after several hundred kilometers, they literally fell out from behind the wheel, and after 1,300 kilometers behind the wheel of a Honda Pilot, you can safely sit down at the table and have a cultural rest for a few more hours. At the same time, despite the focus on the U.S. market, this is not at all an American car in terms of handling and suspension. The owners unanimously note that, unlike the same Chevrolet Tahoe, the driver does not get the impression that he is driving a truck, but on a soft home sofa. The buildup on the waves and rolls in the corners, although they are present, but do not go beyond the reasonable and allow you to drive the car very aggressively. Due to the wide track, the car almost does not feel the longitudinal rut and perfectly holds the trajectory both in a straight line and in corners. Overtaking does not cause a feeling of uncertainty, accelerating dynamics and engine thrust are enough, and the 5-speed automatic does not cause irritation with its thoughtfulness. However, there are those who complain that for several years they have not been able to understand at what speed the box freezes and refuses to switch down for some time, although acceleration from a standstill always turns out to be excellent. The main thing is that no one expects such agility from this tank. Automatic Transmission Honda Pilot Adaptive If you drive slowly, the gas pedal becomes less sensitive, the reactions slow down, but if you drive at least a little, the car immediately changes and starts to instantly respond to the slightest press. Well, if you want to keep the engine on speed, then you can use manual gear shifting. In this mode, the car accelerates to 100 km h in 8.5 seconds, and already in third gear, the electronic limiter is set to 180 km h But here a reasonable question arises, why? Pilot is a family car in which you should put your wife, children, and grandparents, and go with them to the sea or on a picnic. Hate number two, expenses in the city. On the track, Pilot pleases owners not only with speed, trajectory stability, and dynamics, but also with a very moderate, for a car of such dimensions and power, appetite, from 8.9 L slash 100 kilometers at a speed of 80 kilometers slash H, to 12.8 liters at speed 120 to 140 kilometers per hour. If you use cruise control, you can stably fit into the 9.2 L slash 100 kilometers declared by the plant. And all thanks to the VTEC systems, electronic valve timing and lift control, and VCM, which turns off part of the cylinders during a calm, even ride. Alas, in traffic jams or when the engine is idling, the VCM remains indifferent, so the pilot consumes fuel very actively in urban mode. According to the owners, the city consumption is 20 liters or more, although in the summer someone manages to keep within 17 to 18 liters. Of course, each of the owners decides for himself whether it is a lot or a little. Someone thinks it's normal, because the budget allows, and he completely likes the slogan F asterisk CK the fuel economy, and someone thinks that it will still be too much. Love number two, patency. Of course, no one considers the pilot a suitable car to participate in the Latiga Trophy Raid, even in the tourism category, or a suitable platform for building a trophy cutlet. And the clearance is quite moderate, from 198 to 203 millimeters, depending on the load, and the rear overhang is too big. Nevertheless, all the tasks, both those related to urban traffic and those that a family leading an active lifestyle and preferring to relax in nature, can assign to the car pilot performs quite confidently, and the owners appreciate its off-road capabilities. With best regards. 
They eagerly drive to work after a snowfall, because they look forward to the fact that in such conditions there will definitely be a parking place for them, and when asked if the streets are cleared of snow in their holiday village, they proudly answer, but I don't care, I have a pilot. Someone remembers with pride that they climbed where, judging by the tracks, only trucks drive, someone's how he pulled out other crossovers stuck in deep snow. Someone remembers that a couple of times he still had to take up a shovel, but it was in places where any classmate would have sat down in exactly the same way. Hate number one, Tex. Yes, basically Honda Pilot only pleases its owners. But once a year they are definitely upset. This happens in the fall, when an envelope with a notice of accrued taxes is found in the mailbox. When certifying a car in Russia, Honda management did not think about our fiscal realities, and as a result, for 258 horses under the hood in Moscow, for example, you will have to pay 38,550 rubles. And after all, this is a shame, you definitely won't feel the difference in power between 249 and 258 horsepower, but between 38,850 and 18,675 rubles, which would be due from the owner if the car fell into the category up to 250 horsepower, and how. Only parents with many children who live in Moscow, Lipetsk, Murmansk, and Novgorod regions, the Republic of Kakassia and the Nenets Autonomous Okrug are happy. In these regions, there is a complete exemption for such persons from paying transport tax. It is no coincidence that among the owners of Pilot there are so many fathers and mothers with many children, the size is just right, and the money is not too expensive. Love number one, reliability and quality. The Honda Pilot has many advantages, but the vast majority of owners agree that the main one is amazing endurance and reliability. Almost in every review you can read that the device passed 150, 200, 250,000 kilometers without any problems while only consumables changed, well, or some details like stabilizer struts, which can also be classified in this category. However, for a trouble-free and long life, certain conditions must be met, for example, to maintain the maximum oil level in the engine. Honda Motor Russ LLC officially notifies that any engine consumes oil during its normal operation. Oil consumption depends on driving style as well as climatic and road conditions. Therefore, the oil level must be checked regularly. For the pilot, this is especially important because the same amount of oil is poured into his 3.5 liter engine as into the 2 liter CRV engine, and if you start this moment, then at the turn of a run of 120 to 180,000 kilometers, the camshafts will begin to experience oil starvation and crumbling. The operation to replace them is not cheap, and if you decide to purchase camshafts yourself, then remember that there are two of them, and they are different for each triple of cylinders. It is worth regularly monitoring the power steering fluid level in the tank and looking under the car more often to detect power steering hose leaks due to loose clamps. In addition, the pilot does not have the most durable glass, so you need to keep your distance from the vehicle in front of you and regularly change the wiper blades without waiting for them to wear out and scratch. The same applies to mirrors, which are recommended to be heated in winter only with electric heating and not scratched with a scraper. But you must admit that against the background of trouble-free runs of hundreds of thousands of kilometers, such weaknesses do not look too serious.